Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. This Mass is being offered for the intentions of Cipriano Gamboa, birthday, and for the soul of Esther Montano. Please stand and join the singing of the opening song. And forty night, you were fasting in the morning, forty days and forty. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, today is Wednesday. For the fifth week of Lent, we ask the Blessed Mother, our Mother of Perpetual Health, to bless us as well as we invoke the Lord to bless all our intentions. We pray to the Lord for the intentions of the Holy Father, for the whole church, for all those who are affected by this coronavirus. We pray for those who are um, doing their jobs, caring for the sick, doctors, nurses, ambulance drivers, those who are tasked to eradicate, to stop the spread of this virus. We pray for them as well. We pray for the souls of those who are dying. Coming together as God's family with confidence, we pause in silence, recall our sins, failures, and mistakes, and beg the Lord for pardon and peace. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin and all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you steer to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments, otherwise you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God that can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach. And Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not, no, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue which you set up. Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? A 
Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men unfettered and unheard, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants that trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to, to you, Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believe in him, if you live according to my teaching, you are truly my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. We are descendants of Abraham, was their answer. Never have we been slaves to anyone. But what do you mean by saying you will be free? Jesus answered them, I give you my assurance. Everyone who lives in sin is the slave of sin. No slave has a permanent place in the family, but the son has a place there forever. That is why if the son frees you, you will really be free. I realize you are of Abraham's flock. Nonetheless, you are trying to kill me because my word finds no hearing among you. I tell what I have seen in the Father's presence. You do what you have heard from your father. They retorted, Our father is Abraham. Jesus told them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be following Abraham's example. The fact is, you are trying to kill me. A man who had told you the truth, which I have heard from God. Abraham did nothing like that. Indeed, you are doing your father's works. They cried, We are no illegitimate breed. We have but one father, and that is God himself. Jesus answered, 
Were God your father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come of my own will. It was he who sent me. Brothers and sisters, my dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome for all those who are joining us via live stream in this celebration of this Holy Mass as we celebrate this Mass for this Wednesday for the fifth week of Lent. This Gospel leads us into a preparation for the coming Holy Week and what a wonderful message that the Lord has given us in the Gospel of today. Our Gospel today comes from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 8, verses 31 to 42. Sometimes I would lose words to, to say to people whenever an occasion such as a friend of mine, a very wealthy guy, loses both his parents. Not because of COVID-19, but it just happened during this time. Last night, I received a text message. Maybe it happened almost at the same time. The father of Laura died, and our dear Ate Norma Mayo died. Maybe a uh, almost the same time between 8 to 9 in the evening. And it saddens me that during this time where people are displaced, where people do not know where to go, churches are not uh, suspending masses, then somebody dies in your family. To whom should you go? I have lost words to this friend of mine who was so wealthy and told me his parents died. This virus knows no boundaries, no young and old, no rich or poor, no nationality or culture, no barriers or walls, no borders. It goes beyond. It goes far and far and seems there's no, there's the light is too far for us still to reach. But the gospel of today is a great consolation. It's an enlightenment for us. The story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three men in the gospel. These were three men who were ordered by the king to be burned. They were put in a furnace because they do not want to worship the golden idol that the king had asked him them to, to, to worship. But in their steadfastness to God, in their faithfulness, they were rewarded. The king even ordered to raise the fire seven times. But as they were doing it, these three young men seemed not to be consumed. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were inside the furnace and as if enjoying it. And they found something unusual. They found a fourth guy. And then the king asked, did we not put three guys there? Why are there four? And then that's the beauty of the message of the release. That in our suffering, in our pain, in our trials and persecutions, God is there. If we are asking the question, Lord, nasan po kayo? Lord, where are you right now? The Lord answered it today. I am with you. In our suffering, in our pain, the Lord is here. The first reading talks about faithfulness. The gospel talks about the scribes and the Pharisees faithful as well. 
But it is only Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who were rewarded, but the scribes and the Pharisees were not. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were faithful to God. The Pharisees and the scribes were rigid and faithful to rules. Rules cannot save us. Only God can save us. No ritual, no reading material, no icon, no person, no priest, no church can save us as a structure. Only God can save us. Remember this. Any reading material, any priest, even the Pope and the bishops, they can only say, save us in relation to God. On account of God's faithfulness to them, God using our Holy Father, our wonderful places, the church, He can save us in relation to God. And so during this time, do not just hang on to what you read. We've been praying the prayer for the eradication of coronavirus. Why is it that nothing happens? Because yes, no reading material, no person can save us, only God. Asking the question, where are you God in all these problems and trials and difficulties? The Lord, remember or imagine the Lord whispering to our ears, I am here with you. He's here with the suffering. He's here with the sick. He's here with us gathered in prayer. He's here when we see a lighted candle. When we remember those are brothers and sisters who are still suffering right now. He is there. And in this time of crisis, and in this time of uncertainty, the Lord has us a wonderful message. I am here. He will never leave us. We see the three persons suffering, but they were not suffering. They were so glad to have joined, the Lord join them. The king was frustrated because he wanted to punish them. He wanted them to worship him and the golden image that he, he made, but it was the frontality that happened. They enjoyed persecution because the Lord was with them. Remember the Lord's promise in the Beatitude. Blessed are those who suffer for the sake of God, for God is with them. May this crisis don't bring us divided. That's what the Pharisees and the scribes were doing in the gospel. They were boasting, we are descendants of Abraham. We are far different. Now you cannot boast, I have money. What are, what, what are your wealth if it cannot give you health? What are all your properties good to if even in the confines of your homes you are not secure? Only God can save us. Only God can give us the strength. May we see clearly the Lord working in our lives. We pray for those who are most suffering right now. For most people who are enduring illnesses. For those people who are afraid. The other day I was talking to a friend. She was afraid because she has the symptoms of this virus. She is afraid to die. She is afraid to leave her family. But one thing for certain, I told her, be positive. Call on God. It is only Him who can save us. Let us stand. <coughs> With the Lord there is mercy, in that confidence we bring our petitions to God. That the one holy Catholic and apostolic church 
continue to proclaim the value of human life. We pray to the Lord, 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 Lord. that the nations of the world know the love and peace of Jesus who wept for Lazarus. We pray to the Lord, 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 Lord. that those preparing for the Easter sacraments learn to die to self like Jesus in order to rise like Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah, yeah. For everyone affected by the novel coronavirus and for doctors, nurses, caregivers, and family members who care for the sick with gentleness and compassion, may they find strength in their works of mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. That those who gather around this table reach out with love to those who grieve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. In silence, let us pray together with our patron Saint Martha for all our petitions. And for the intentions of Cipriano Gamboa, birthday, and for the soul of Esther Montano. And for all this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We include in praying for the repose of the soul of Norma Mayo and Rodolfo Osorio. They have been sick for a while. We've been praying for them. Uh, the father of Laura, I've been praying for him. Laura had been going back and forth to Mexico just to be with her, her father. I know their family is grieving right now. The least that we could do is to remember them in our midst, in our prayers. We include in praying for the others who have died as well. Yesu, Bison, Pablito de la Cruz, Domingo Cortes. We pray for those who are struggling right now. For those who have issues with their health other than this virus and for the family members and doctors caring for them. We remember the intentions of the Holy Father. We remember all those who are leading the church and our government for the total eradication of this virus. O oh, loving God, you raised your Son from the dead. Hear our petitions and raise us to new life. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come back to me, all ye who are Reverend, that these are sacrifices be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred pastoral feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer 
and on the works of charity, and by participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we agree. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is your who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and break from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, David, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Therese, St. John Paul II, St. Teresa of Calcutta, St. Martha, Padre Osera, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil who graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now offer and extend to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us our sins. Mm -hmm. 
Brothers and sisters, my dear friends, behold Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are at home, join me in praying, act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you to my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Beyond a day's broken mystery, we sing a light of faith in you. And in our longings, we thirst for guidance to walk with you day by day. For me, peace and light, you guide the steps of our journey. May your presence be felt in the whisper of your voice beyond the days. Of open mystery, we see a light of faith in you, and in our longing, we thirst for guidance to walk with you day by day. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 novel coronavirus. Let us claim lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, and of stealing the tide of its transmission. Dry the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted, that they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We thank you all for joining us in this celebration, and hopefully you have heard the announcement about the distribution of our funds. Um, we'll do it with social distancing uh, and hopefully these pumps will help us uh, be reminded of the season, uh, Lenten season and the Holy Week and unite us also with all our celebrations in the church 
with the schedules that are posted at the church, at our very Facebook accounts, and also at the uh, rectory office, uh, if you will call the rectory office. So all these things are available there. If you would like to offer masses, just call the rectory office from 9 to 12, and they will receive your uh, calls, your emails, and they will be answering that for you. We also include in our prayers our own parishioners who have lost their loved ones during this time. Remember Laura and Tony Gutierrez. Remember the family of uh, Abby Norma Mayo, their, her children. Remember the souls of all our beloved dead. It is a sad uh, moment for them. It's a sad occasion to be able to lose a dear loved one. But with us remembering them in our prayers, that would lessen the burden that they feel. Uh, we continue to unite ourselves in prayer to the Lord in all these our intentions. We ask the Blessed Mother to bless us today and always as we pray. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Lord Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And before I forget, I'd like to thank all those who have been uh, sending us your generous donations, generous help for St. Martha. Know that we are receiving them, those who have started using our online giving through our website. Thank you so much. Those have already been received. And also those who are coming to the church once in a while to drop their envelopes. Thank you for that. Yesterday, I also received a good news that somebody affected by covid at my former parish, he was already released yesterday. He got oh, healed. Uh, something that would uh, and brighten our day today, that not everybody dies. There are some who are healed, some who are getting better. And for sure, the family are the most delighted of this news. And we join them in thanking <coughs> the Lord for that. The Lord be with you. And with Lord. your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confidence, hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you all, hearing the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended, we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning to all, be safe everyone. God when you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom.